crafter, awkward crafter. It's time for the awkward crafter. Hi, welcome to the awkward crafter. I'm Cassandra Hora, your awkward crafter. Okay, so today we're going to make this. Uh, it's made out of an old book and some foam board. I'm not quite sure what you would call it, um, but it's good to hold maybe pictures or business cards or cute little sayings. Um, I have this on my desk, put important information that I need to take care of it on it, and so it's something cute and creative you can have around your house. Okay, let's get started. So what you will need for this project is you will need an old book. I got this one for a penny at the local dollar store. You will need some foam board. I also got this at the local dollar store for a dollar. You will need some just regular white school glue. I got this for 50 cents at the dollar store. Uh, you may need a paintbrush. Uh, you need some sort of device to cut the foam board with. I have my knife here. Um, you could pick up uh, like a box cutter or, or something like that at the dollar store if you do not have one already. You will also need a pencil and something with a straight edge, preferably a ruler. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the foam core, foam board, not foam core, foam board. You're going to take your book you take the cover off because you don't need that and you're going to measure your book. I just lay it down and I mark it out. You can't see that, but pretty much I just drew a line around it. It got darker. I don't know if you can see that. And then I found um, that the perfect size for like a four inch wide book is to make a five inch base. So all I do is I go and a, I add another inch to it add another inch to it and then you cut it out now in order to save time I already have one cut out so yay so what you're going to do is you are going to take your glue Hopefully this will work. Take your glue. Uh, no. Take your glue. Put it on your foam board. And then this is a slightly dampened um, paintbrush. You're going to spread it out. Now, I have a paintbrush specifically for glue. I can't, I don't know if you can read my scribble, but it says glue on it. And that way I don't ruin, um, like, one of my good paintbrushes. I have one specifically used for, like, craft glue and decoupage. And I just make sure I clean this out very well afterwards and I don't let it dry out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to eyeball the center, or if you want to be um, really OCD, you can measure the center, measure the center of this, match it up, but I'm not that OCD, so you're just going to eyeball it. You're going to take the first pages of your book, and you're going to glue them down. Okay, you're going to just press it down a little so the glue and the paper can adhere nicely together. I don't know if you can see that. So pretty much, 
I have glued the first page and the back page of my book down onto the foam board. So I don't know if you can see this. Okay. Then what you're going to do, you're going to flip it over. You're going to add a little bit of glue to the back with your paintbrush. Spread it out. You don't really need a ton of glue for things to adhere. Then you're going to fold your paper over thusly. Hopefully you're all picking this up. And so it will look something like that. And this is actually slightly uneven, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. Okay. So there. It's glued on the back, it's glued on the front. So this is how it should look. And then basically what you're doing is you're just going to fold your paper in to itself like this. And you're just going to keep folding. And you're just going to keep folding. And then what I like to do is I like to kind of um, do the folds into each other like this. So I would fold them in on this side and then fold them in on this side. Until they meet in the middle. And so it is that easy, it is that basic. And you're going to keep doing this, and you're going to keep doing that until you get to this. Now on this one, I didn't tape over the paper on my edge. You can see the edge is kind of a little rough. And on this one, it's a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. So yes, that is how you make one of these. Really simple, really easy. Hope you enjoy. So, thank you for watching The Awkward Crafter. Till next time. Oh, hello. It's me again. Yeah. I kind of forgot to do the whole please like and subscribe my channel and, you know, leave comments down in the comment section. So, you know, you have time to do that. That would be wonderful. So, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.